guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. Today's unboxing and review video is Commodity Fragrances. So Commodity have kindly sent me their exploration kit. So we're going to have a talk through their fragrances. I'm going to explain a little bit about what they're all about. And I will talk you through the fragrance range that they offer. So this particular kit that I'm going to talk to you about today is called the Exploration Kit. And it has all of the fragrances that they make. So it is obviously like that perfect kit if you're interested in this, if this appeals to you and you want to find out a little bit more. What I like about Commodity as well is they are a little bit different from other fragrance companies and they are really all about the fact that fragrance isn't one size fits all. So they do hear six different fragrances, but they are slightly different. There have been three sort of variations. So I'll explain a little bit more about it and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the various scents. Now, obviously, um, perfume fragrance is quite personal anyway, and the scents are very much unisex. Anyone can wear them. Um, but there's lots of information here. I think this is a really fun little set and I'm excited to tell you a bit more about it. What I've done with this is obviously there's quite a lot of fragrance here and trying to sort of smell them all in one sitting or setting would be a bit much. So what I've done is I've been playing around with this for a few days. I've been trying each fragrance on a different day so I can kind of see what works for me. So these are very much artisan fragrances. Um, and like I said, I just think it's really quite exciting concept. So it starts off in this little book and it talks about introducing scent space. So. What they've said here is doing away with old industry jargon, we've created scent space to give you greater control over the intensity and projection of your scent. So each of the commodity fragrances is available in three different scent space concentrations. And they are what these three different colours are here. So you have got personal, then you've got expressive, then you've got bold. So all three scents in each line are the same. They are just different levels of intensity. So personal, they say, for those who prefer a subtle, intimate fragrance to be noticed only by you and the few that you allow close. Soft, ethereal and luxurious, these molecular compositions have got a trace of their expressive counterpart and embody the concept of less is more. So if you're that sort of person who just wants to smell the scent yourself and not just be this huge, you know, a cloud of perfume goes ahead of you before you walk in the room, that would be more for you. In the middle, you've then got expressive. It says considered by many to be the perfect balance of longevity and projection. These fragrances will make a statement without overpowering any space to be noticed by you and the many around you. And then finally, bold. There is no modesty when it comes to the bold collection. Infused with exotic notes, these are amplified renditions of their expressive counterparts. Designed for those intent on making their presence known, they are for you and everybody else. So it then starts to talk you through the process. So it starts off with select your space. So I like lighter, subtle, yet sophisticated fragrances that stay close to me. So for that, you're going to go for the personal line, which are the white ones. I like balanced and well-rounded scents that work for any occasion. So you're going to go for these ones in the middle. So I don't know if you can see this on camera, but these are black with white writing. And then here on the end, the bold collection, I like strong statement scents that can noticeably fill up the room. And they're represented with black packaging with gold lettering on. But like I said, all three of the scents are the same. There are six different scents. So I'm going to talk you through the six different scents. And I did want to mention as well, you can buy the exploration kit. It comes with two mil of each of the fragrances in the three different types. So that is six of each, three times six, you're getting 18 two mil fragrances. So it's pretty cost effective. You're getting quite a lot of fragrance for that price. And then you have got all these little cards like they would have in a department store or what have you. So if you want to spray on a card and smell it that way, instead of spraying it directly onto your skin, you can absolutely do that. So it's quite well thought out. You can also buy uh, little collections of just one scent where it will give you, um, you know, for example, this top one is called Moss. So you would be able to get all three types of Moss or you can do it by kind of almost like scent family. So do you want personal? Do you want expressive? Do you want bold? And just select a little set, set like that. If you do happen to get the exploration kit I have got, it also gives you 15% off one of their 100 ml fragrances. So then if you find your new favorite, you can go ahead and get 15% off your full size fragrance. Next up, it says, so this is now step two. Follow your nose. If you're new to fragrance, start in the middle with our expressive collection. So they're the ones that are the black with the white writing. 
It says these scents offer an ideal balance between projection and intensity and are perfect for everyday use. Find your favourite fragrance from this collection. Obviously for a more subtle version you can go to personal and for a bolder version you can go to bold. So it's lots and lots of things to think about and then it starts to tell you a little bit more about how you can sample the fragrance. So you can do it on the blotting paper which is what they've included here, you can do it on your hand, you can do it on your pulse points or you can kind of take it through those step by steps to work out what works for you. Then it starts to tell us about the fragrances themselves, it tells us what sort of scent profile it has and it tells us about all the different bits. I'm not going to read everything out, I'm just going to give you a flavour of what each fragrance is all about. I have also made some notes from when I have been trying them out um, just to see what I personally like. Now this is obviously my personal opinion based on what smells good to me and also what kind of works with my skin chemistry. I would say if you are going for um, sort of personal or expressive or bold, obviously the bolder one is going to last the longest on your skin, or well, that has been my experience, but I could still smell even the personal version. I was still picking that up at the end of the day. So there was still quite long wearing fragrances and it's just how strong you want that scent to be as well, I guess. So first of all, we've got Book. Now I was familiar with Book because before they contacted me to ask if I wanted to sample this set, I had bought this in candle formation from a previous holiday in the US. So I like Book anyway. Me and Book get along, which is not surprising because I love books. So Book is described as dry, woody pages bound together by a crisp cover. A trilogy of nostalgic, crisp, woody scents centred around cedarwood and sandalwood. Get lost in a good book. So I describe Book as being quite woody and mysterious. It's one of those that as I was wearing it and I was going about my day, I was like, ooh, what's that scent? Ooh, it's me. So I would say this is um, like a medium fragrance. You know, when you talk about fragrances being quite strong or not, I'd say this is like medium, somewhere in the middle, medium to strong. It wasn't a summery floral sort of scent or anything like that, not that any really are. Um, but yeah, it's a special kind of fragrance, but they're all a little bit special. The next one is gold, which is described as a warm and lustrous material to be desired. A trilogy of warm, glowing scents spotlighting vanilla, sandalwood and amber. A heart of gold. So this one for me was quite warm and sultry and sort of seemed more of um, an evening scent to me or more the sort of scent that would appeal to me in the evening, if you know what I mean. And obviously any of them can be worn at any time of day, but it sort of smelt to me more like that evening, sultry, sexy kind of scent. Then we've got Velvet, a luxurious fabric woven from silk for a dense, soft, rose petal texture. The trilogy reveals the true indulgence of roasted almonds, rose petals and amber. As smooth as velvet. Velvet for me is quite a wintry scent. That's what I kind of picked up when I, um, when I smelt it. You definitely do get probably amber a little more than anything else but there was that hint of rose and I guess almond coming through but yeah for me it was one that I think I would be a rather kind of wear in the winter that's just how it smelled to me uh, in contrast and I think my favorite scent they do and I've never smelt this scent before um so I was really quite pleasantly surprised so my absolute favorite is moss which is a really interesting name for a scent isn't it I'm going to spray a little bit more on actually so moss is described as a fresh green and earthy plant that lacks true roots. The trilogy of fresh green scents highlights bergamot, oak moss and pettigrain. A rolling stone gathers no moss. So I've written for this fresh nature. Um, nature, I mean, it doesn't smell like nature, but it kind of evokes the feeling of being outside of everything being really fresh you're having a really kind of fun day out if you want to think of it like that and it actually sort of reminds me of holidays it's not a holiday scent in terms of oh it smells like the beach or tropical it doesn't at all but it just gives me that feeling of holidays so this one feels very much like a summer fragrance to me and yeah i really like it so a full size for me would definitely be in that particular scent that is the one for me then we have got paper and paper is described as crisp sheets manufactured from the pulp of wood which is basically what paper is a trilogy of true molecular skin scents thanks to sandalwood and 
ISO E Super looks good on paper. So um, paper is quite musky. I would say for me, it seemed the most subtle when I sprayed it on my skin compared to the other scents. There weren't any scents in this box that I didn't like. I just like some more than others. And I have got another scent to talk to you about, which is milk, which is again, another interesting name for a fragrance. An opaque white liquid rich in sweet creams and fresh woods. So obviously the bit I'm reading out is the kind of definition of what that word means. And then they describe it as a trilogy of caressing woody scents filled with skin musk, tonka bean and mahogany wood. No use crying over spilled milk. Um, and this one is kind of vanilla and amber and almost a little bit of a smokiness to it, which is not how you would expect milk to smell. I mean, obviously it's not supposed to smell like milk, but um, yeah, interesting, interesting scents. So I thought it was really fun. I, I actually quite enjoyed and look forward to every day selecting a new scent, trying that out, trying out the different levels of scent to sort of see what worked for me. But I really like the way they've put everything together. So for example, at the back of the book here, you've got method, what scent space are you? So are you personal, expressive or bold? And then you can rate each of the fragrances in the box. And then which, site, which scent did you like the best? Which scent of this fragrance, which scent space of this fragrance do you like the best? And you can rate each one and then it tells you a little bit more about the brand so the art of perfumery should be intuitive at commodity we are demystifying fragrance in order to make the exceptional accessible we like to keep things simple no smoke no mirrors just a passion for the ethical elemental and atypical so our fragrances are unisex cruelty free paraben free and phthalate free and they are in collaboration with some of the world's most accomplished artisans. They've created a spectrum of exceptional fragrances for your intuitive discovery. From the name to the packaging to the sample sets to our video series. And there is also a QR code at the back for that. Atypical. We like to do things a little differently. We're constantly looking for new ways to describe how fragrance unfurls. To engage the senses from behind a scene and to rethink how you and the ones around you experience fragrance. So that was a pretty nice experience that I had with Commodity. It is just a box of scents, but it felt like so much more having a little bit of a process to follow. It just made it all a little bit fun. So if you're on the hunt for some new fragrance or you want to just try something a little bit different, this is a really nice experience. It would also be quite nice to share with others who might be interested in kind of going through this with you because you get two mil of every single fragrance. You can play around with it a little bit as well. And like I said, you then get that discount on the full size. At the same time, if one fragrance is already standing out for you or one kind of scent story is standing out for you and you think actually I'm going to like it to be the bold, you could just pick up bold or you can just pick up a set of the individual scent. So there's lots and lots of options and things available to you and I'll drop some links and things under the video if you want to check it out. So thank you so much to Commodity for sending this set my way. I've very much enjoyed playing around with it and I may just get a full size in moss in the not too distant future. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up, it lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.